everyone, Brad from OCAM 4x4. Today we'll be installing an electric tonneau cover on a Z71 Colorado. Starting the removal stage of the soft tonneau cover, you're going to need a, a T30 Torx bit to remove the four screws. Uh, you have one here, you have one here, here and here. For the tray trim piece, there will be one Torx, T30 Torx screw piece that will be located here. Four Phillips head plastic clips, which will be located here, 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 and here. And then on the end, you'll have two 10 mil bolts, which will be located here and in here. After all the hardware has been removed, you can grab the plastic trim piece and it will just pull out like so. Removing the soft torno, you have four T30 screw bits. You've got one here, 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 and here. So you just use your T30 on the socket and undo them. Once the soft torno is taken off, you'll just have the two uh, foam strips here. These can just be peeled off as they are not needed. Once you've got the foam strip off and on the end of the tub there, you've got these two foam blocks. I'm using a, a trim removal tool just to help get behind the foam. Uh, another easy way, if you have some fishing line, you can run that behind where the sticky adhesive is and that'll, that'll just help get it off. In the kit for the tonneau cover, you'll get this foam strip. Uh, this will go on top of the alloy bracket here and it will just help stop any vibration between the tonneau cover and, and the tub when you're driving along. Once you get to the end here and you have the leftover foam, grab a knife and just trim it to the end. Now that we've come to the stage of assembling the tonneau cover, uh, you'll wanna grab your side rail these have three captive nuts in them. These will line up with the, the pre-drilled holes in the tonneau canister itself. This little locating pin on the end here will slide into the end of the, the wing on the rail. Grab a mate to give you a hand. Quickly pull this uh, roller cover out. So then you can then put your rails onto the side on here, sliding it on and then it will twist over over onto the, the roller cover. So you'll grab your five mil Allen bolts and then these will go underneath and tighten into the rail themselves. You have your top cover here. This will sit on the top on these bolt holes. They'll line up with the holes in the top of this plate. This will slide into place. Make sure the rubber strip here sits under the side panel wing piece. Then you can grab your screws and your Phillips head screwdriver. The little screw goes through the black fill-in piece like so. That goes in and screws in. And then you get your little top cap piece and that will sit on the top and push in to cover the Phillips head screw. Repeat this step for all the other five uh, screw holes. Next, you'll grab your little rubber end caps. These slide into the, the sleeve here. Pushing in quite firm so they stop any water 
getting in to the end. For these body brackets, uh, you have these torx, torx screws under the sailplane here. You undo these and then mount the, the body bracket. Once you have them undone, you will line the bracket up with the corresponding holes for the torx screws and then do them back up. You can then grab the outside bracket, thread this into the threaded section on the body bracket. This is your five mil Allen key. Keep these ones loose for any adjustment you need when you're putting the tornado cover on. For your drainage hole, uh, you're gonna grab your drill and your step piece. You've got these oval sections here, which are just backed by plastic. So grab your drill, Hold down a little bit as you need to drill it out to a 28 mil. This one's just another one we have that's been modified so you don't end up smashing into the back of the cab. So we can start with this smaller one to get it going. Change it over to the bigger one. So grab your hose. We can test fit it through the hole. Like so, goes in perfect. So for the second hole, same process again. For the drainage uh, hose and the switch, I have marked out just with some white paint pen um, where, they, where they need to go. Uh, so for this, we're gonna have to remove the tail light with your seven mil socket. If the tail light is uh, a little bit stiff, you can use a, a trim tool just to Gently pop it out from its little sockets. That one will just pull out. You can gently leave that to the side, like so. And then we'll be ready to drill through. Drilling the hole for the drainage and the switch, uh, it's easier to start with the pilot hole first. So we can drill the pilot hole through. I have marked just with an X where it needs to go. And you'll grab your, your step bit. Put that in your drill. Once the holes have been drilled, um, you just wanna go through the back of them, grab a deburring tool or a small file, just to run off any edges. That could be a little bit rough for the, the switch and the wiring. Because you have the exposed edges now, uh, we just have a paint pen. You can grab that and just go around to cover any of the exposed metal, like so. And then you can go through and grab your switch, run the cable through the hole, grabbing the, the little locking ring for the end. That will go up and on and tighten onto the back, holding the switch in place. For the drainage hoses, put the hose clamp on the end. You can slide it on to the drainage points on the canister, like so. Give it a twist to help it go on. Then with your, your Phillips head, just tighten the hose clamp up and then uh, repeat the same process for the other side. Now the torno is all assembled, uh, you're going to want to find two mates to give you a hand to lift it in. Come on, mates. Now we have the, the torno cover in the back of the car. Um, you can grab your, your two front bracket pieces and just put these back in to the bracket here. You can do them like finger tight and then using your five mil Allen key, you can tighten these back up. You're going to want to grab your, uh, the T-nut um, with the, the thread on it. This will slide into the little cutout section in the rail over here. So then you'll want to lift it up a little bit to go over the first bracket, up to the second bracket. Grab your second T-nut 
in the little cutout, lift it up into the cutout on the bracket, and you can bring it down a little bit so the threads go through onto either side. Grabbing your, your nut now, you can grab your 10 mil socket now, and lightly do that nut up onto the thread just to hold it there. Do the same for the end here. For the wiring, easiest way is to drop your inner guard liner down. We have this yellow stick here. We have taped the wires for the Torno and everything together, and it's just been taped to the end of the stick. We'll pull the yellow stick from this end over here, and it'll, it'll pull the cables through the in inside of the tub. So over here, you have the other end of the stick. You wanna pull that through. What we can do now is untape it. All right, now we have the, the tape taken off. Um, you've got this plug being the, the power. You've got your central locking and the plug for the switch. These will just plug into the torno cover here. With the wires, you can just tuck them around, make them look neat. For the switch cabling here, We've just taped it onto the end of this yellow stick. We've run that up the side of the tub, so you can just pull it straight through here and have it come out here. This will allow you to connect it onto the, the switch we've printed, uh, fitted previously. All right, so with this uh, excess cabling we had here, we've just uh, coiled it up a little bit, put a zip tie around it, just to make it a little bit neater. So now we can, we can get your drain pipe with the hose clamp around it. We can put this onto the end of our Torno cover and then we can feed it through the side of the tub where we pre-drilled it. Pulling it through, routing it down to the bottom there. We can get the hose clamp on the drainage hose that you've already put onto the Torno cover. Grab your Phillips head screwdriver and we can tighten this up to hold it in place. So because our, our grommet didn't fit in the tub here, uh, we're just gonna use some silicon to fill the hole up. Um, it's probably good if you grab a just a, a, a like spare rag as it, it does get quite messy. So we're just gonna silicon around in the join You'd repeat the process for the other side as well. Now that everything's been siliconed in place, you can grab your tail light and pop this back in place, finding the locating pins on the back of the tail light, pushing them in, grab your little screws, screw them back into place. Now that uh, everything's installed in the car, we can take these drainage hoses that we put on before and the holes that we drilled before and just run the drainage hoses through the holes, feeding them through. For the wiring for the Torno cover, we, we run it from the tub down, down the uh, side of the tub, along the chassis rail, zip tied it to the chassis rail. Then we've uh, had it come up between the engine and the firewall and it's come out here. Uh, for these, you've just got your negative and positive. So you'll just have to wire it up to your battery in the corresponding negative and positive. For the central locking wire, we've run it through uh, one of the grommets in the floor. This will come over into your main harness. The central locking wire will be the brown wire with the yellow trace. There'll be a few of them, but it all runs into the one wire eventually. So now that we have the torno in the tub, we're going to uh, tighten these uh, Allen key bolts uh, on all four corners, and then we can shut the torno cover uh, to align these rails, and then we can tighten these uh, 10 mil bolts up here. So tensioning the torno cover, you wanna grab your alloy bar, Slide it in the rail inserts. Pull that even. That will align the, the rail sides. 
but when the torno uh, comes out and it'll be even, so then we can tighten it that way. With the self-adhesive strip supplied in your kit, you're required to fit it along the inside of the sail plane um, and then just trim the edge just for a neat finish. Now that the tornos are fitted and aligned, we can give it a test. The OKM Tornos come with two remotes and some lubrication oil uh, for maintenance.